Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Today I'm going to just spend a few minutes uh, showing you a little bit about this uh, ColaSoft and Kronos software. It's from uh, ColaSoft.com and it's a network forensics ana analysis application. Oh my god, I barely got that out. What is it really? Okay, it's a piece of software. There's actually two components to this. There's a server and a console. I put them both on a laptop. No virtual machine, no nothing. And I just installed those two pieces of software and it's going to basically sniff or monitor or packet capture uh, from my network and provide me with a pretty cool interface to do that. So this is not using Armon or SNMP or NetFlow, none of that stuff. This is just packets, whatever packets go by. So this is kind of important because um, obviously I'm using a laptop. I know the link that I'm using is not really uh, like a 10 gig link or anything so I'm not worried about packet loss. So that's kind of important when you use this stuff is to make sure you've got the proper hardware to support this stuff and you don't drop a bunch of stuff. Alright, that being said, here we go. So we've got this internet link. I've uh, mirrored a port on my network. This port's kind of important uh, because it A uh, goes to the internet as the name says but then B um, it's also the link that all my wireless access points go through as well. So I'm getting a little bit of internal visibility as well as external vis visibility as well. So the first thing I do is I hit the real time button. You can see right now in real time what's going on. Um, and this little bubble comes up to show you what's going on. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on it because I'm just getting into it myself. I just want to show you uh, an example of how I've used this already. And you can see about 2 meg. 2 megs kind of cruising around pretty well all the time and then you get a little bubble when something else happens but two megs uh, pretty well consistent so this is the real time chart it's showing you what's going on in real time showing me the host here uh, who's yapping away um, but if I'd like to see how long this has been going on for I want to look a little bit of the history I'll shut down this real time tab and if I right click on this I'll look at the back in time chart and it's the same kind of thing but this is obviously back in time so what I'm going to do now is just highlight a certain window the time range of what's going on and when I do that down here it's going to tell me a little bit about that information or that window and it'll tell you the peak and all that good stuff and you can see here it says 2.64 megabits per second so I'm kind of curious as to what's constantly generating all this traffic on my network so now that I've highlighted that I can come over here and click application and it bang right there's HTTP so I know it's some kind of web app something or other and still not helping me too much. So if I come over to HTTP, I could right click and export some statistics or download some packets for Wireshark analysis, but it also has a built-in analyzer as well. So I'm going to do that in just a moment, but I want to show you something else. If I come here to IP conversation, I can actually see who's talking to whom. So I know there's the IP, there's the IP, and I know that it's HTTP. So one of these is a web server. So what I can do is just bring up the web browser again and type that IP address 10.44.10.53 find out what that is and it's it's a webcam. So what's happening and, I, and as soon as I see all this it comes into focus what's happening this 94 is my DVR watching all the webcams and recording what's going on around the office and basically this guy is talking to him and generating a lot of traffic. I was a little kind of curious as to why just that one camera is on the top list. What happened to all the other ones? Well, <laughs> I checked my configuration. I haven't changed it yet, but I want to show you something. This guy, this 94 is a server talking to this 53 guy. Um, it's pulling this in in the highest resolution possible, whereas all the other ones I've got in a lower resolution. So this is misconfigured and it's chewing up a lot of bandwidth and more importantly over my Wi-Fi which explains the performance issues I'm having on Wi-Fi as well. So there you go. There's an example of me using that, using the back in time, using the real time. And then lastly, if I want to really get all, you know, techy on you, I can come up here, I can get right down to more or less granularity and I can change the scale of this. But the really cool part about this is I can actually pick this analyze the packets and this is the built-in analyzer you don't have to use this you can use Wireshark if you like and I'm just gonna come over here look at this packet display buffer here we go I'm just gonna resize this for you because it just uh, went a little outside of the screen there we go and there you are so now that I've selected that 
it's going to analyze this as well as show me the raw packets. So if I come over here, I can actually look at the packets, and there you are. So it's a whole lot of a lot of stuff. It's a uh, it's going to be interesting to get more into it, but that's the kind of the introduction I wanted to show you. So that's it. Bye for now.